do I even get compensated for all this? Not even money-wise, but I'm just saying, how does the government compensate for this mistake? Because I do see it as a mistake. Montreal software engineer Ali Salem has been in Canada since 2009. Having completed his master's at McGill University, he's been working and living here since and calls Canada home. But a delay in receiving his citizenship means he's stuck in limbo. Salem has been waiting since 2017 to be called to take the oath and says this delay has taken a toll on him. Like, what are my rights? You've delayed me all this time, right? You've wasted many opportunities in my life. And part of me being uh, living in Canada, all of us, when we're paying taxes, right, we expect to receive the benefit that we deserve, be it in medicine, be it with the government services, right? So who's accountable? I just want to know, because honestly, at this stage, I want to make sure others don't get the same treatment that I got. Before the COVID-19 pandemic, the wait time for citizenship was a year on average. And as of August 30th, the wait time is now 26 months, according to the Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada's website. The IRCC says, quote, each application is different and takes a different amount of time to process. But Salem still has no answers as to why it has taken his application five times longer than average. Throughout all that time, since I applied my, for my application, uh, almost everybody who applied with me that I knew got their citizenship either a year after or at least two years after. It's really ridiculous, you know what I mean? I came here in 2009, I love the country. I even had to fight with my family so I can stay here because I love the place. This is where I wanna be. And I feel like Canada doesn't want me to be here, you know what I mean? Like, what else can I do? Salem says he's written to two different MPs, reached out to the IRCC multiple times, hired lawyers to help with his case, and made a request to the Canadian Security Intelligence Service. Still the same answer. The application is in process. I pay my taxes. Everything is great. I've never had a problem with the government. So that's why it's very strange. You know what I mean? Yeah. And when you call IRCC and I'm like, can you please tell me what's wrong? Is there a document you need from me that I can you know, get you more information, like anything I can do to help. Nope, you get nothing from them. Salem says the wait has affected his work travel opportunities, that he faces difficulties trying to travel for work opportunities because of his Lebanese passport. He also can't vote in the country he's lived in for nearly 15 years. Now he's worried his citizenship, or rather the lack of it, will impact his personal relationships as well. City News reached out to the IRCC for comment but received a response that it would not be able to provide a statement by deadline. In Montreal, Brittany Enriquez, City News.